Hello, this is the last lesson of transformations um, and it is exploring different points for rotations. So we're going to take rotations one step further just to make it a little bit harder and uh, I'll show you some strategies of how to rotate. Um, but so this is based on um, rotating a, a, sh a shape about a point that is not connected to the shape. And I'll show you what that means um, in more in depth later. But if you can see this right here, there is the shape and there's the point we're going to turn it about. Okay, so it's not attached. So there's one strategy where we trace, and I don't really have tracing paper, but we'll just use uh, white paper and you can see through it if it's light enough. But anyways, what you need to do is um, you use another paper to trace the shape in order to find the rotation, position, and orientation. I know those are big words, but it's pretty straightforward. I'll show you how to do it. Um, so the steps are, so place the tracing paper so the corner of the page is on the point of rotation. Then trace the shape. Then hold the tracing paper with your pencil on the point of rotation. Then, so that's on the corner of your paper. So you draw the shape here, and then you're going to turn it, okay? So then after you turn it, look at the position and orientation of the rotated shape on the graph paper below, and then pull the tracing paper away and draw the new shape. So we're going to do this one. I'm just have to zoom out a bit so that you can, uh, so I can fit it on my paper here. You follow along. So you're probably going to need a piece of paper. Don't just use the same shape. I mean, don't just use one paper per shape. Try to use the paper as much as you can, cut it, uh, be resourceful. Okay, I think you can see that. So the first step that we do is we grab our marker so that you can see. And so we need to put the corner of the paper on the P, which is where we're turning, because it says turn the shape a quarter turn clockwise about point P. So clockwise is going this way and a quarter turn is one, 190 degree angle, one right angle. Okay, so we're gonna be doing that. Oh wait, it doesn't fit on the paper. All right, we won't follow that rule because our shape doesn't fit on the paper. That's okay. We'll just draw a uh, dot to show where that point is, just in case. So it's easier for me, I guess, because uh, I've got the image being projected onto my paper. But if you look closely, you'll be able to see the line of your paper. Okay, so what we do is we draw our shape. Okay? So that is trace the shape. Now hold the tracing paper with your pencil on the point of rotation. So right here is my point of rotation. It's not a big deal that it's not on the corner. And then we need to do our, do our uh, rotation. So woo, yeah, it wants to get going. So there, there it is, making sure it stays there. And then we have to rotate it right there. To, uh, that was a 90 degree angle right there, right angle. So that means that when I pull my paper away, get my whiteboard marker out here, my uh, diamond is going to start right here. So I will put a dot there. And then, it's weird how that dot disappears, isn't it? A dot there. And then a dot right there. And a dot right here. And then we can put an arrow to show how it has rotated. So we've just rotated a shape. Make sure that you have one, two squares in between. And make sure you drew the shape in the same size uh, as the original. Make sure it looks just like mine. Okay, so that's, that's, that's the steps for tracing. Now there's another strategy and it's called predicting. Uh, I can zoom it in. Okay, 
and it includes visualizing. So you want to visualize the position of the image by pretending that the image is on a pole, like a flagpole. So pretend it's on a flagpole. There we go. It doesn't work for all shapes, but sometimes it does work. So what you want to do is imagine that it's on a flagpole. So you could even draw a line just so that you can see it. And then rotate the flag while keeping the length of the flag the same. So when you rotate the flag, or oh, I guess this would be a better flagpole, uh, it doesn't change the length. That's important. Okay? And then once you rotate the flagpole, then take a look at how the uh, shape is related to the flagpole um, and to begin with, and then draw it again. Okay. <laughs> Let's just look at how to do it. So, uh, it's not on the screen, but it does say turn the shape a three-quarter turn about counterclockwise about point P. So counterclockwise, we are now going this way and we need to go three quarters. So that means three right angles. Okay, so we're going to draw our pole from a vertex to point P. Okay, and then we're, all we're going to do is rotate the pole first. Okay, so that means that there is one quarter, there's one half. And then there is a three-quarter turn. So we're going to draw one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to uh, erase this after because it's not part of the shape. But um, notice that uh, here the shape goes out this way from this part of the pole. So when we turn it, um, Let's put this marker on the side of where it is. So it stays on the same side. So now the marker is below. So that means that we're going this way. So that means that this is going to go down like that. Okay, so we've got to go one, two, three, four, five out. And that's the hardest part. It's figuring out which way it's going to go. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to break that so that I know that that's not part of the shape. And then this one goes one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we just connect them. Okay, and then if I wasn't sure, uh, turning three quarter turn backwards is the same as turning a quarter turn forwards. So if we imagine this going forward, that looks like it would just, would have fallen like that. All right? So that's how we can tell that, oh yeah, that looks like it could be right, so. It would be, but we draw our rotation arrow like that to show that it turned like that. Okay, so those are two strategies that you can use. You can try them all both out, see which one works for you, or maybe different ones work for different questions. But uh, that's how it goes. Um, and your assignment is on the bottom of your page. You're doing numbers one to four.